Okay, everyone, yes, welcome back to the second part of this presentation talking about the Oasis Nexus. What the heck is Oasis Nexus? Well, it's a network indexer. And um, we have a network indexer because every good blockchain network has their own indexer, right? So we built one. So the Oasis Nexus, or this, um, the product name for this indexer, serves an API according to the OpenAPI 3.0 spec. And so here is a screenshot of what that documentation would look like as you navigate through it. And you'll see a very basic route for the latest block number and block time and so on, as well as different resources on the left for your curl requests and uh, sample responses on the right. Okay, let's go on to some of the features and the high level overview of what the Nexus does. The Nexus accesses node information from um, an Oasis node, as well as other sources, including the metadata registry, which is how validator information, for example, the name of the validator, as well as their um, URLs are being stored. And because it is an open source project um, and is set up to be running a Docker container, you can totally run your own instance of the Nexus if you want additional reassurances or guarantees. Data is stored inside of a Postgres database and a Golang server will serve up the JSON API. Right now, in terms of OSS front-end projects, the Explorer and the Wallet both use the Nexus. While ongoing features are still being developed, we will be able to support more functionality in the future. So on the left, we have a QR code for the source code. And on the right, we have the URL of the documentation of the V1 Nexus that is currently deployed. Let's take a look. So I'm just gonna click through over here and this is fairly uh, standard. So we will also be able to access not just the Safari paradigm but consensus information in the Nexus on the left. We'll also see example responses for these employing requests. In this case, I could simply click through or issue my curl request. And take a look at these different responses. Okay, cool. So there is an API, but what can you build with it? Well, one of our engineers, Luca, built a very simple front end for an Oasis indexer, allegedly over a single weekend. And I must say, it is really quite good. So that is the code base at this particular repository um, using many of these routes for the different resources that we talked about earlier. In my terminal over here, I already have a copy of this code. And um, pretty simple, I just had to yarn uh, install my node dependencies and serve up this application right over here. Okay, let's open it. 
So we can see a very high level at a glance view of the consensus layer. We have the different runtimes as well. And um, we can take a look at the latest blocks, events, transactions, and so on. We could navigate through, for example, um, certain accounts, in which case we have both the Ethereum address and the Oasis address for this particular account. We can take a look at the transactions associated with this account. And we can even see the events as well. So in this case, uh, we see um, these two types of events. And uh, we can even query um, um, against all events of this particular type. Maybe we want to take a look at this one. And um, yeah. Now let's go back to the beginning. And let's say we wanted to take a look at some of these latest blocks. Sorry, not latest blocks, blocks um, before a certain height. And we can see these events associated for these transactions. And let's say we take a look at the sender. And we can take a look at all the events associated with a particular address. So if I were the account owner here and I wanted to do my taxes, for example, the, this is a really convenient way for me to find all of my events. Um, I could also look through the previous transaction query. And um, then I can just iterate through all of these things and um, get an at a glance view of the information needed for my account in order to do that. So this is what a simple front end could look like. And we hope you'll be able to perhaps build your own. Thank you very much.